In this video, I'm going to be speaking about a concept called digital real estate. Now, I know a lot of you guys are not really familiar with that terminology, but digital real estate, just like the name implies, is real estate, but digitally, right? So obviously, the real estate we all know that our parents taught us how to build were houses, hotels, shops, office buildings, ex you know, that kind of stuff, right? But the generation we live in, we no longer necessarily need to build physical real estates anymore. You can build something called digital real estates. And the advantages of this are they are cheaper, they have better returns, and guys, they stand the test of time. You do it once and it keeps on paying you for life. So guys, if you're interested and you want to find out how you can go about building digital real estates, literally, you don't need to carry a freaking block or get a cap and on how you can go about building your very own digital real estate, I suggest you stick around till the very end of this video. Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dapper Willis as you already know. I'm a serial entrepreneur who just loves to make money on the internet. Now guys, in this video, like I said earlier, I'm going to be talking about a concept called digital real estate. Now, um, thinking about it, I know a lot of you guys are probably used to, um, I mean, the, the, your parents teach you, you go to school, get a job, when you get a job, when you get paid, buy land, buy a building or rather start start building your your house or whatever that is the real estate that the older generation are used to but in this generation my generation i think is my is my duty to educate you guys that yes you can still have traditional forms of real estate but there's now something called digital real estate it's so cool so interesting and guys it doesn't take that much to build. Literally, I have been building my digital real estate and it has been paying me a lot of money. So that's exactly what I'm going to be speaking about. All right, guys. So the first digital real estate or the first digital property that you can build that can pay you money over a period of time is something called video content, right? So this video that I'm shooting right now, this is a digital real estate. This is a digital property that's gonna pay me for years to come. Why and how? Now, once I record this video and my other videos, if you scroll through, through my channel, do I have videos that I shot about four years ago. There's a video I shot four years ago where I was showing up a really nice house. And do you know that from that video, people have been contacting me up till today telling me that they want to either buy my product or service or they like the video that I shot. So that is my definition of digital. Sorry, my phone is making a little freaking noise. That is one kind of digital estate, real estate you can build. Video content is so powerful because once you put up information on YouTube, you record the video, you put it out there. I also have videos everywhere, Instagram, Facebook, all these videos are out there and people are going to watch them for years to come i mean videos i shot four years ago people are still watching them till today and people are still buying my products because of that video so guys one of the most powerful um, digital real estates that you can build today is video content you sit your ass down get a camera like i'm doing right about now record a very valuable video once you're done recording the video upload it on youtube and the, the, how do you go about monetizing your video? All you need to do is shoot a valuable video, upload it in YouTube, and then in the description section, you can link people to a product that you sell. So as people start to view that video and find it helpful, when they're done watching the video, they scroll to the description, they see a link that is related to the video you're talking about. So for instance, you can be talking about, a very good example is this is, beard oil right so i can literally do a video on beard oil talking about how beard oil has helped my fragile beard grow guys i've been trying to grow this for the longest time ever it's refusing to come out so i got this right so i can literally speak about how this 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 cantu shea butter beard oil has literally transformed my my hair my beard hair from 
absolutely nothing to what it is right now i can record a video about that and then i can upload it on youtube and then in the description section i can i can what's it called i can link put a link that takes people to buy this product so anytime somebody is searching up how to grow my beard or how to make my beard more fuller or i'm struggling to grow my beard whenever it is they stumbled on my video and they see me speaking about how this can to can to you need to give me you need to sponsor this video can to <laughs> literally so anytime they stumble on a video that that sees me speaking about this product and how it has helped my beard grow they're gonna be like oh my god this product has helped this guy um I'm, i need to get i need to get this product i need to get this product. and then they scroll down, and then obviously in the video you tell them click the link below to get your very own canto beard oil and once they watch the video they like what you say they trust it they see it has worked for you they will go there and click the link to buy the beard oil now usually the link that you put in your description is called an affiliate link um usually companies I mean, reputable companies will give you an affiliate link whereby anytime somebody clicks on that link to buy a product through your link, they purchase a product. That product, for instance, Cantu will give me a link. I can put it at the bottom of my video talking about how, my, how I was able to grow my beard hair. Once anybody clicks on that link and they buy this beard oil, I get a commission from that. So literally, you build the video talking about in real estate terms, you produce the video, you make the video, whatever thing it is you do, just make the video, upload it. Once you upload it, them as people, because people always, you have to understand that people are always searching for more information. There are people on the internet who have, they always have problems, people always have one problem they're trying to solve. It's either trying to grow their bed hair or they're trying to make money, whatever. So, like I said, back to the example, once people search how to grow my bed and trust me, people do search it a lot. Right? So. Once people search it, they find your video. Some such terms, you have to understand that some people, I'm, I'm pretty sure, I don't know the, the, how many people are searching for it right now, but let's just say roughly about 5,000 people a month. So if about 5,000 people search how to grow my beard a month and 2,000 people stumble on your video a month, and out of those 2,000 people, 700 people buy that beard oil from me, and let's say this beard oil is about 50 bucks, so you're looking at about $35,000 in sales. Let's say the company costs you 50% of that, um, or maybe maybe cuts you 50% of 35k. Or let's just say yeah, 50. Let's say, let's just say every month that video you put out is making sales sales worth of 35,000 dollars, and the company is cutting you 10k out of that. Guys, just from one video you have shot talking about a product, how good the product is, and you put the link down below, you are able to generate as much as 10,000 dollars a month just by recording the video once and uploading it there so now you get to understand the concept of digital real estate you build it once and it keeps paying you for life and trust me as long as these platforms are available youtube is not going anywhere the video is going to be here for years to come so guys that is the very first example or that's the very first type of digital real estate that i'll encourage you guys to go ahead and build so lucrative and so all right, so the second kind of digital real estate that I'll encourage you guys to go ahead creating so that you can literally retire early. So you just build these digital products, rather build this digital real estate, um, whatever that I was speaking about. <laughs> so you build these digital real estates once and they pay you for life. So the second one you can go ahead and build is a blog. So you have to understand that there are people who still like to read. Trust me, blogs still make a lot of money. So I give you an example. Same thing back with this example. I don't know why Cantu might need to pay me for this video because I keep using these guys for my examples, right? So you go ahead and talk about, write a blog about how you struggle to grow your beard over the years and how Cantu oil helped you grow your beard. What you do, you drop a link, an affiliate link to Cantu oil and then once people read the blog, they find it very helpful. They click your link, they buy from you, they buy the oil, the Cantu oil through your link. You literally don't need to worry about shipping where the Cantu will handle everything. They just give you a link, embed it in your blog. You need to make your blog post look really nice. You publish it. So anytime anybody goes on Google and searches how to grow my beard, your, your, your article, it's an article actually, and your article pops up 
and they read it and they find value they find value in whatever thing it is that you wrote and they click the link and they buy from Cantu. Cantu will cut you a commission. Um, the video, I, um, the, the first point I raised, which was via video content, but this one is via written content articles. Some people pr still prefer to read content on the internet. So guys, that's how easy it is. You write the blog, you do it once, you publish it and it pays you for life. As long as people are searching it, as long as because there are gonna be people, people especially kids who are just growing going into adulthood, the adolescent stage, they have their friends who their beards are forming early, and they have obviously kids who their beards are not forming as early as their friends. Trust me for life. As long as men are growing, as long as boys are growing into men, they will always search for the term beard oil or how to grow my beard. And if anytime they search that term, your article comes up and they find it very helpful, they will definitely buy through your link. So guys, that is the second form of digital real estate that I encourage you guys to go and build. It's so easy and so straightforward. And the good part about blog writing, the good part about articles is you don't even need to write it yourself. You can hire somebody. Just tell the person your story. Tell them everything. Just write, put down some bullet points. Give it to them. They'll write it for you. You publish it. Put some nice affiliate links in that blog. And voila, you have a digital real estate. It costs you almost nothing. The max is going to cost you is probably $100. You invest $100 putting out good content. Invest $100 building a very nice digital real estate. And then it pays you guys some 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 depending on how good the, depending on how good of a quality your article is it can pay you as much as ten thousand dollars a month for life invest a hundred dollars this is now you understand why i say digital real estate is the future like forget about freaking buildings and all that i mean they're cool like they're nice and give you returns but digital real estate is the future guys trust me so yeah that's the second way you can go about building your digital real estate is via blogs writing articles and you can make a lot of money all right guys so the third the third digital real estate that you can build is something called your social media page now guys you have to understand that you guys who are watching this right now you've probably come across something called influencers on the internet right influencers are people who have a lot of following and brands pay them to advertise their products on the internet i'll give you a little example cantu oil right cantu oil let's say you had an instagram page and your beard was really nice and you come in front of your followers and tell them buy cantu oil this has helped me grow my beard and you put an affiliate link there do you know what's going to happen people because they can see that cantu oil has literally helped you grow your beard they're going to buy from you it's as easy as that so the third digital real estate you can go ahead and build is something called your social media page personally my social media page talks about making money online so I, I, you understand, I, I provide a lot, but the thing about social media is you need to provide value. You can't just go on there and just post this and think people are going to buy. Never. They will never do that. So it's digital, um, social media pages is something you need to build over time, but it is so powerful. People, they're girls on Instagram. All they do is they just take nice pictures of their bikinis and they make so much money. How do they do that? They look beautiful. They look nice. And then companies like Fashion Nova, I spoke about Fashion Nova in one of my videos. Companies like Fashion Nova will pay them. Please, could you wear our new jeans? Could you wear a new top? And then, please, could you tag us, Fashion Nova, in your pictures you post on Instagram? And we will pay you per post. So, you have a nice social media page. You can use that as a digital asset. That is digital real estate, digital asset that, you know, it doesn't cost you much. Just be consistent, provide value. Like my Instagram page, I'm always, like this video is going to go on my Instagram page. This is value right here, right? And people watch this video. This video is going to go on my YouTube page. And once this video goes up, they see it, you guys see it, you like it. Do you know what's going to happen? You're going to buy what I have to offer. It's only natural. I mean, because you know I'm providing you value and stuff like that. So social media pages are a very good digital asset. It costs you nothing to build. Post consistently, provide value to your audience and put a link in your bio. So that anytime people come on your page, they scroll, oh, I like this guy. Mm. Like, and then they see a link in your bio and they click it, 
probably links them to a product. Now, there's something I need to obviously enforce here is you need to have a product you're selling. It can be a physical product or a digital product. Physical products are these kind of products and digital products can be like a video training, a course and stuff like that. Guys, these things make so much money. I mean, I do like these three strategies I've called out are video content, um, blogging and social media. I use these three strategies as well and they're making me so much money. So guys, the third digital asset you should go ahead and build in 2020 is a very good social media page. It will change your life. Trust me. You can make as much as $10,000 a month if you want to hear some figures, right? 10 grand a month you can make from your social media page. There you go. Stop right there. Stop right there. While you're watching this video, I know you haven't subscribed. I know you haven't dropped me a comment and I know you haven't liked this video. It doesn't take you five seconds. Just smash it. Smash it right now. Smash it right there. Subscribe. Drop a like and drop me a comment. All right, guys, you do that. And if you check below, you're going to see links to a couple of my free trainings that teach you how to build online businesses that teach you how obviously high income skills. You know, if you want to learn how to build an online business that's going to make you a lot of money, there's a free training below. Be sure to do all these things if you want to make a lot of money this year. All right, guys, so I'm going to allow you to go back to the video. Take it easy, and I'll see you guys back in the video. All right, guys, so the fourth kind of digital asset that I encourage you guys to go and build is something called an ebook, right? So, an ebook is not just an ebook, actually, a course, an online course online course and you can put an ebook inside so let's say you're good at something i don't care what you're good at right you can be good at anything mate any freaking thing you can be good at you can be good at anything in this life sit your ass down script it out into an online course write out the different modules create a course that educates people on a specific thing you're good at so I'm good at forex trading. I'm good at online businesses, right? I'm also learning some new things. And what I'm doing is I'm creating courses and eBooks that are going to help people learn what I already know. So let's say you're a graphic designer, create a course on graphic designing. Let's say you're good at freaking cooking, create a course on cooking, create an eBook on cooking, create an eBook on recipes, create an eBook on freaking how to, mm, grow your cooking business create an ebook on how to grow your your catering business create a course on how to code create a course on how to do guys you can create a course on anything what i guarantee you is that there are people on the internet who want to learn the skill you already have so this is a very good digital asset and anything i tell you on here i'm doing it myself i have about three courses right about now about we're just about to um, launch the third one if you can see behind me i'm literally mapping out the third course we're about to launch you create a course and guys once you create your course it's created for life you're not like you it's not something you need to keep worrying about people ask you oh please can i buy this oh can you help me with this sell them the course you create a course once and it pays you for life so guys you know that's the that's the fourth kind of digital asset you can build on guys courses are so powerful take it from me like i'm a guy who sells a lot of courses and i'm not ashamed to say it because my courses are so valuable right so guys the fourth thing you can do is build a digital course attach an ebook and it will pay you for life people come across your products they come across whatever thing it is that you're talking about and then when they come close to you like oh please can me like please can, can you help me with this you're like yeah sure here's my digital course you can pay for it or you can attach your digital course to your blog you can attach your digital course to your youtube video you can attach your digital course to your freaking social media page guys so you create your digital course and it pays you for life now guys this is the fourth kind of digital asset it's very lucrative um last week alone we probably made about five thousand pounds in selling digital courses i kid you not and we're just testing it out literally we're just so guys i know a lot of people um let me give you a quick, let me give you some, some, some insight into this. There's a guy called Peng Jun. Peng Jun just picked up his award. It looks like this. He just picked up an award for making 25 million US dollars from selling digital courses. That's how powerful the industry is. So guys, don't 25 
million US dollars from selling digital courses. So guys, you don't want to sleep on this. So guys, the fourth kind of digital asset you can go ahead and build is a digital course and then you can obviously embed an ebook and voila, educate people, teach people stuff. They will pay you for your information. All right guys, so the last but not the least, the fifth kind of digital asset, the fifth kind of digital real estate you can go ahead and create to start making a lot of money in 2020. The fifth kind of real estate that's gonna give you passive, passive income, passive income, passive income. The fifth kind of freaking digital asset that's gonna give you a lot of money is something called platforms, right? So you can go ahead and build a platform that's gonna help people carry out a specific kind of task. I'll give you an example. There's something called, I'll give you three major platforms that I use, right? So the first one is known as ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels is kind of like a platform for building web pages. Now, easy web pages, like all you need to do is drag and drop it, right? ClickFunnels is so easy to use that all I need to do is just, let's say I want to build prior to now, you would have to obviously hire web developers and up or stuff like that. But a guy called Russell Brunson came up with this idea and said, there are a lot of entrepreneurs who want to create web pages to sell their products on the internet, but they have to, you know, it's stressful. So he decided to make it stress-free by building a web platform that is pretty much drag and drop. You can now build your website, just drag it, change the color by obviously changing the color, right clicking, change to red, orange, blah, blah, blah. So he thought of a way to solve people's problems, built it, and now I, I pay $99 a, a month for that kind of, I pay $99 a month for ClickFunnels. And the guy has over at least a million users. So you do the math, a million times $100 every single month. I don't know how much that is, but that is a lot of money. So you can build a platform and charge people a monthly subscription to use your platform and voila, it's gonna pay you for life. Now the second kind of digital platform that I know that I use very well is something called Shopify. Now Shopify realized, the creators of Shopify realized that, um, you know, the world is moving uh, digital, everybody's going digital, uh, with the, with the birth of Amazon, everybody wants to start selling their products online. So Shopify literally is a platform that helps business people create online shops. For $23 a month, you can have your online store. It's cheaper than renting a physical store. You can, re you can reach a wider audience. So the guy thought about it and he created a platform called Shopify. And now Shopify charges you $23 a month and trust me, they have over 2 million users. Do 2 million multiplied by $23 a month. That is some stellar amount of change. It's a lot of money right there. And now the third platform that I use, let me think about a platform that I use. Hmm. That I have to pay a monthly subscription. Um, okay, a platform, there's a platform called Teachable. Teachable is a platform where I host my online courses. So when I record my vid, my courses and stuff like that, I put them on a platform called Teachable. And Teachable charges me $39 a month. So these guys thought about it. They're like, hmm, there are a lot of people who have information to share. They want to create online courses. So what did they do? They want to create online courses, but they need a place like an online academy, an online school. People want to create their online academies, but it's quite technical to do. To, it's quite technical trying to create your website, trying to put videos on there, blah, blah. So what they did was they're like, you know what? We're going to solve this problem for you. We'll build a platform that allows entrepreneurs, course creators, upload their videos on there. And we literally give them their own academy with a click of a button. For $39 a month, we will help you host your online uh, courses. We'll create an academy for you. And I'm like, that's an absolute no-brainer. I want to obviously provide value to my audience. I want to um, sell my courses. So, I'm, I mean, these guys are pretty much helping me solve this problem. So they created a platform called Teachable. They charged me $39 a month. And guess what, guys? I pay every month. I don't mind because I make more money obviously by them hosting my, it's a no-brainer. So guys, the fifth kind of digital asset you can build is a platform. There's another one called OnlyFans. OnlyFans is a pretty decent one. So guys, you need to think, for the platform ones, obviously you need to have some kind of coding skills. You need to hire coders to build it up for you. But once you build it, that's why it's called an asset. Once you have it, 
it will pay you for life so guys there you have it these are the top five digital assets the top five digital real estate you could go about building that can make you as much as ten thousand dollars every single month so guys if you know i mean if i were you like personally i do all five guys you do all five you do you put together all these five digital assets together you build all of them and you have them on the internet you will make so much money you're gonna need a new house because you're gonna need a new bank account because the money is gonna be obviously too much so guys if you found this video helpful once again drop me a like smash me a like smash me a comment drop me a comment tell me which of these ones you're going to be obviously building to make a lot more money in the future and then yeah drop me a comment subscribe help the channel grow as you can see i'm coming on here selflessly providing you guys value every single week all right guys i'll see you in my subsequent video take it easy and